This is a river flood warning from the... This is a river flood warning from the National Weather Service in Wilmington, Ohio. A flood warning has been issued now for the Licking River at Falmouth, Kentucky. Heavy rains overnight have caused the Licking River to rise this morning. At 9.30 a.m., the river level at Falmouth was 23.1 feet. The river is forecast to rise above the flood stage of 28 feet this afternoon around 5 p.m. It's then expected to crest at a stage of 40 and one half feet at 7 p.m. on Sunday evening. At a river level of 33 feet, water starts entering some basements on Water Street. At 34 feet, parts of Kentucky 22 east of downtown begin to flood. Shelby Street begins to flood at a river level of 37 feet and at 41 feet. Parts of US 27 are covered with water. Do not drive through flooded roadways. The water may be much deeper than you think. And if you live near this waterway, be prepared to move to higher ground if necessary. Once again, a river flood warning is in effect for the Licking River at Falmouth, Kentucky. This is a flood warning from the National Weather Service in Wilmington, Ohio. A flood warning for urban areas and small streams has been issued for Grant, Owen, Pendleton, Robertson, and uh, Claremont counties in the Tri-State. That flood warning will be in effect until 4 p.m. Rain is expected to continue across the area through mid-afternoon. Many areas have already received between 2 and 4 inches of rainfall, and any additional rainfall will create additional flooding problems. Avoid crossing flowing water either in your car or on foot. The swift current can sweep you off your feet or carry your car away. Stay away from drains, ditches, and low spots, and to escape rising water, move up to higher ground. Once again, a flood warning for urban areas and small streams is in effect until 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Claremont County in Southwest Ohio and Grant, Owen, Pendleton, and Robertson counties in Northern Kentucky. Indiana, Northern Kentucky, and Southwest Ohio, including the greater Cincinnati Tri-State area. A flood watch is in effect for tonight. For tonight, rain, heavy at times, thunderstorms possible, local flooding possible, lows in the mid-50s, uh, lows in the mid-40s, southwest winds of 10 to 20 miles an hour becoming west, with a chance of rain near 100%, for Sunday cloudy with a chance of showers in the morning, clearing in the afternoon, steady temperatures between 45 and 50 degrees, northwest winds of 10 to 15 miles an hour, and the chance of rain 40%. For Sunday night, mostly clear, lows 25 to 30, and for Monday, mostly sunny, highs 45 to 50. And your extended forecast for Tuesday, chance of rain, lows in the 30s and highs 45 to 55. For Wednesday, chance of rain, lows in the upper 20s to the mid 30s and highs in the 40s. And for Thursday, fair, lows in the 20s and highs in the lower 40s to the lower 50s. And repeating your forecast for tonight, flood watch is in effect for tonight. For tonight, rain heavy at times, thunderstorm is possible, local flooding possible, lows in the mid 40s. Southwest winds of 10 to 20 miles an hour becoming west, and the chance of rain near 100%. And now here is a closer look at this afternoon's weather. And heavy rainfall will continue around Owenton and Williamstown through 5 p.m. Otherwise, a lull in the heavy rainfall will occur across much of the area through the late afternoon hours. However, heavy rain showers and thunderstorms will return by the evening hours. Flooding of roads to the south of Cincinnati will continue, so motorists should use caution. A flash flood warning effective until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the people in the following locations in South Central Ohio, Adams, and Scioto County, in Southwest Ohio, Brown County, and in Northern Kentucky, Bracken, Mason, and Pendleton counties, and in Northeast Kentucky, Lewis County. Between three and five inches of rain has accumulated across far southern Ohio and Northeast Kentucky since midnight. Meanwhile, rain continues to fall in the same area and is expected to continue for much of the night. Numerous roads have been flooded and some evacuations to higher ground had already taken place across Adams, Brown, Scioto, and Lewis County. Be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flash flooding. Most flash flood deaths occur in automobiles. Do not attempt to cross bridges, dips, or low spots if water covers the roadway. Never try to cross a flowing stream, even a small one on foot, to escape rising water, move to higher ground. Repeating the National Weather Service has issued a flash flood warning effective until 8 p.m. for the people in the following locations. 
Adams, Scioto, Brown, Bracken, Mason, Pendleton, and Lewis County. Many river flood warnings were in effect across southern Ohio and northern Kentucky. For the Cincinnati Tri-State, in particular, the Licking River at Falmouth, Kentucky is under a flood warning, and the Ohio Brush Creek at West Union is under a flood warning as well. First for the Licking River, in Falmouth, Kentucky, it was rising quickly and was at 27 and a half feet at noon. The flood stage is 28 feet, and the river is uh, forecast to crest at 40 and one half foot on Sunday evening. At a river level of 33 feet, water starts entering some basements on Water Street in Falmouth. At 34 feet, parts of Kentucky 22 east of downtown begin to flood. Shelby Street begins to flood at a river level of 37 feet, and at 41 feet, parts of US 27 are covered with water. For the Ohio Brush Creek at West Union, at noon, the Ohio Brush Creek at West Union had risen up to 20.7 feet. The river is forecast to crest at 26.3 feet this evening at 7 p.m. Flood stage is 15 feet. At a stage of 20 feet, water covers State Route 348 and flooding of lowlands occur. At 25 feet, the valley is filled bank to bank and about a 20 mile stretch of State Route 348 is covered. Several homes and farms are affected and there is water on State Route 125 near West Union. Avoid crossing flowing water either in your car or on foot. The swift current can sweep you off your feet or carry your car away. Stay away from drains, ditches, and low spots, and to escape rising water, move up to higher ground. The following is a special weather statement from the National Weather Service Office in Wilmington, Ohio. Possible severe weather and a return threat for flash flooding will occur tonight in the Ohio Valley. The Storms Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, has indicated that the Ohio Valley is under a slight risk of severe weather for this afternoon through tonight. Some cities in the severe weather outlook area include Richmond, Cincinnati, Dayton, Columbus, and Portsmouth. Cold front will be pushing through the Ohio Valley tonight. Ahead of this cold front, warm, moist air is in place. The area is ready to support thunderstorms that could produce damaging winds and large hail. The cold front will pass through the area early Sunday morning, ending the threat of severe weather and rain. However, the additional rainfall will accompany these storms will cause many more flooding problems. Please remember that flooding is most dangerous at night and is the main cause of weather-related fatalities. If you live near a waterway, moderate frequently both tonight and tomorrow. Repeating, a possible severe weather and threat and a return threat of flash flooding will occur tonight in the Ohio Valley. Storms Prediction Center has issued a tornado watch for north and northeast Kentucky to include Mason, Owen, Robertson, and Lewis counties. Effective this Saturday night and Sunday morning until 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tornadoes, large hail, dangerous lightning, and damaging thunderstorms, winds are possible in these areas. The tornado watch area, remember, means conditions are favorable for tornadoes and severe thunderstorms in and close to the watch area. Persons in these areas should be on the lookout for threatening weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Again, the Storms Prediction Center has issued a tornado watch for north and northeast Kentucky to include Mason, Owen, Robertson, and Lewis counties for this Saturday night and Sunday morning until 3 a.m. in Ohio has issued a severe thunderstorm warning effective until 9.45 p.m. for people in the following location of northern Kentucky, Bracken County. At 9.10 p.m., Doppler radar was indicating a severe thunderstorm moving into western Bracken County. The storm was moving east-northeast at 45 miles per hour. Towns in the path of this storm include Powersville and Brooksville. It is dangerous to be outdoors while a severe thunderstorm is in progress. Damaging winds, large hail, very heavy rain, and deadly lightning are all possible. Seek shelter in a building or a vehicle. If you are caught in the open, stay away from towers and large trees. Crouch near the ground and cover your head. 
Again, the National Weather Service in Wilmington has issued a severe thunderstorm warning effective until 9.45 p.m. for people in the following location of northern Kentucky, Bracken County. The Weather Service in Wilmington has issued a severe thunderstorm warning Effective until 10 p.m. for people in the following location in northern Kentucky, Mason County. At 9.20 p.m., Doppler radar was indicating a severe thunderstorm moving into Mason County. Storm was moving east-northeast at 45 miles per hour. Towns in the path of the storm include Minerva and Maysville. If you are in the path of this storm, move inside a strong building. Stay away from windows since they can easily shatter in severe thunderstorm winds. Do not use telephones or appliances unless absolutely necessary until the storm has passed. Here, the National Weather Service in Wilmington has issued a severe thunderstorm warning effective until 10 p.m. for people in the following location of northern Kentucky, Mason County. Water rises over US 52 below the lock. And backwater flooding begins along several creeks and streams in Claremont County, Ohio, and Bracken as well as Pendleton County, Kentucky. At a stage of 55 feet, US 52 becomes cut off in southern Claremont at Bear Creek and Maple Creek near Nelville. For Markland Dam at 7 a.m., the stage at Markland on the Ohio was at 46.4 feet and rising. The river is forecast due to crest. At 61 feet at 7 p.m. on the 4th, flood stage there is 51 feet. At a stage of 51 feet, some roads next to the river are covered. At a stage of 55 feet, water affects some trailers parked at the mouth of Craig's Creek, 1.5 miles upstream. And for the Licking River in Falmouth, Kentucky, at 1 p.m., the current river stage reading for the Licking River was unavailable because the gauge itself is fully underwater. The estimated stage of Falmouth is near 46 feet. The river is expected to continue to rise into the evening, cresting at a record of 52 feet around 7. The current record for Falmouth is 47.1 feet set in March of 1964. If a new record does occur, the new record level will not be determined until the flood damage is reviewed and high water marks can be surveyed. Due to evacuations in the area near the river gauge, it is unlikely that new readings will be available until the end of the next few days. At a river level of above 45 feet, major flooding occurs and residents along the Licking River are evacuated in portions of Pendleton County. Water enters homes on Water Street in Falmouth and Kentucky, U.S. 27. Moderate flooding can be expected in portions of Camel and Kenton counties along the river, with residents along the river being affected. Since the river level has never been recorded higher than 47 feet, no further flooding benchmarks are available. Expect major damage to occur to foul mouth. Remember, never drive through flooded roadways because the water may be deeper than you think. If you live near any of these waterways, be prepared to move to higher ground if necessary. For the Ohio River at Cincinnati, the observed reading was 64.3 feet, forecast Thursday 64.2, Friday 64.0, and Saturday 63.0. At Portsmouth, the observed reading was 59.0, forecast for Thursday was 59.8, Friday 56.2, and Saturday 52.7. Crest is expected at 60 feet at 1 a.m. on the 6th. At Maysville, Kentucky, the observed reading was 60.9, forecast Thursday 61.1, Friday 59.7, Saturday 56.5. Crest is expected at 61.2 at 1 p.m. on the 6th. At the Melville Dam, the observed reading was 61.0, forecast Thursday 60.9, Friday 60.2, and Saturday 57.0. Crest is expected at 61.2 at 3 p.m. on the 5th. 
For the Markland Dam in Kentucky, the observed reading was 59.5. Forecast Thursday, 60.5. Friday, 60.8. Saturday, 60.7. Crest is expected at 61.0 at 11 p.m. on the 6th. For Ohio Brush Creek in West Union, the observed reading was 8.1. Forecast Thursday, 11.5. Friday, 7.5. And Saturday, 5.9. Crest is expected at 7 a.m. on the 6th. For the Licking River at Falmouth, Kentucky, the observed reading was missing. The forecast Thursday, 34.5, Friday, 33.3, and Saturday, 24.7. For the Little Miami River at Milford, the observed reading was 7.1, forecast Thursday, 9.0, Friday, 7.6, and Saturday, 7.1. For the Great Miami River at Hamilton, the observed reading was 5.5, forecast Thursday, 6.8, Friday 6.6, and Saturday 6.1. By the Whitewater River in Brookville, Indiana, the observed reading was 4.9. Forecast Thursday 5.0, Friday 4.5, and Saturday 4.3. Forecast points on the Ohio from Portsmouth to Cincinnati are around crest and will start to slowly fall over the next couple of days. Observed readings were taken at 7 a.m. this morning. 